We're in. Hello? Hello? We are driving. We have a couple stops today. We're gonna go see uh, our friend Kai at Lucas Landon Royals. So yeah, we're doing a little driving around. Ryan's filming, I'm driving. It's not shaking too much, is it? <clears throat> This, this is weird. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were focused on the Freaking camera. <laughs> We're with Kai over at Lucas Land and Royals, because I respect his business name. <laughs> it's about I'm time. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna check out some cool snakes, so stay tuned. This. this is the only one out of the clutch. The pairing um, was a pinstripe pet desert ghost to a pastel desert ghost. Really? So I should have 50-50% chance of hitting a visual desert ghost and this one has pinstripe and I wasn't sure if this was desert ghost or not just because of the color. I mean, it's, it's definitely a little it's bit be. brighter. It's definitely a little bit brighter, but you know, Pinstripe, the variations are still variations within pinstripe. It's still super clean though. It's very clean. That was the comment I was going to say. Yeah, so I wasn't really sure until I hatched another pinstripe. Mm -hmm. And you can see now the colors are different. So I'm leaning towards that being the desert ghost. You always usually see desert ghosts in like pastel, so it gets so bright and yellow. Like yeah. you never really see like the earth tone desert ghost. So, but yeah. You think that's a that's desert ghost? That's gotta be. I think I'm gonna try to hold that one back, read it back to uh, another female, and hopefully get my Lemon Blast Desert Ghost, because I got a female with pastel in it. That's cool. It's what I've been trying to hit for two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's those recessives, man. I love recessives. I love the uh, Desert Ghost, especially when you add pastel to it. Like you said, it just makes it so much cleaner, so much brighter. And, uh, perfect back straight. Yeah, that's just like the mom too. The mom has a very clean, uniform pattern. That's beautiful. Because usually you get like these broken up ones. I mean, I still like this because it's asymmetric. Mm hmm But, uh, you know, I'm trying to go for like the clean, clean look. So clean, clean colors with really clean pattern. So. Awesome, man. With. All right, cool. So, I'll show you a couple other things. Looks OD. You said really? I was gonna say yeah. And shit. Look at the eye bands. It's, it's much like see how much wider it gets, especially towards the top. It like tries to stretch over versus like a normal pinstripe where it kind of stays. That I'd say OD as well, not entry. See how it starts to get almost like instead of solid lines, there's like almost an inside where it's sort of like a burnt orange. Mm -hmm. That's what we see when we produce pinstripe ODs. Oh, sweet. But that doesn't mean that, I don't know if we've ever produced just a Enchi pinstripe, so that may be true for both. I expect a little bit different pattern on the side for Enchi. Five bands are thick. Yeah, they are really thick. Huh. Dang it. Knows. Maybe I'll just <laughs> hold on to it and then try to make some super so we're with Kai from Lucas Land and Royals and uh, we just hopefully you guys are seeing we were just filming some stuff with him for his videos so make sure you look down below we'll show you uh, have a link there for his videos and you can see his uh, awesome animals that he has so Kai you make videos and you know we're trying to catch up to you really so <laughs> can you tell us why did you get into YouTube videos like what made you want to do that um, actually I got into it because I wanted to just share my knowledge around genetics um, and that's 
kind of what I started with where the first like six or seven of my videos were just talking about genetics but uh, I could see why nobody really wanted to look at them because they were just kind of like really bad editing um, and so but I try to keep, keep things interesting and as my collection got bigger and bigger um, you know there's more interesting things to show aside from just genetics yeah I mean you have a lot of videos that are like how to build racks and things like that you do a lot of do-it-yourself stuff so super interesting and um, we you know saw your videos and we were we had YouTube channel a little bit but you know wasn't anything cool until just recently we started doing a lot more and focusing on it and uh, yeah we we like uh, to promote people out there that if you're trying to start a video you know stuff channel on YouTube or whatever just go for it like if it's just something that you're interested in you're passionate about video it it's cool and uh, we're having fun with it yeah, so. yeah just go for it like he said um, you might not have a niche or a focus but just just keep playing around with your videos. I mean, I still don't really have a niche. Like he said, I did. I do genetics, I do egg cuttings, I do pairings, I also do DIYs and things like that. So I haven't really focused my channel on any one specific thing yet, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just enjoying it so far. And I hope, you know, my viewers are enjoying it as well. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much. So what do you got here? This is a pied 100% het for uh, lavender albino that I picked off of uh, Justin Kabilka a couple of years ago and this was the boy that sired my um, my dream sickle that I got this season so uh, he did a good job <laughs> and we do want to see that dream sickle so uh, go get it <laughs> <laughs> okay. please Here it is, this is that dream sickle, and fortunately it is a male, so I won't have to wait that long to uh, get him into the breeding project. He's gonna be going back to a pied pet for lavender albino female next season if he gets up to size. Hopefully he will. <laughs> He's been doing really good with uh, all his meals, so uh, we just cross our fingers and hope for the best. So this is one of Ryan's dream animals here that is a bucket list, so Ryan, I hope you don't mind, Kai. Can you point out the things you really enjoy about why this project is so cool? Of, Thanks, cor Kai. of course, mm -hmm. everybody notices the just striking coloration as babies. I mean, they kind of like turn like a lighter yellow as they grow up into adults. But then you start putting jeans into it like Blackhead and Enchi, and you start holding on to these colors way into adulthood. So there's a lot of potential for this and it's just so beautiful. These are almost like closing in on like blood orange kind of colors. It's very unique. I, first time I saw these was when Ralph Davis produced them like, geez, what was it, 13 or 15 years ago? And they were selling for like $30,000. But it was always been a dream animal for me. So I've been trying and trying and trying over the years. I haven't got there yet, but Thankfully, our buddy Kai got there and we get to come visit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, hopefully I'll make some more and uh, I'll make your dream come true. <laughs> Absolutely. Man, look at that. And there's your emoji pied. He's very happy to be here. Wait, hold on. He's very happy to be here. <laughs> He's very happy. And there's his brother who's surprised to be here. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like the bulging eye emoji. You know, like, what? <laughs> it's pretty cool. And he's like a little worried to be here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, so we're just wrapping up over here at Lucas Lane and Royals. <laughs> he's showing us this beautiful dream sickle mail that he just produced this season. And uh, we'd like to thank you for watching the video. Make sure to give us a comment if you like this and smash the like button if you like this. And if you don't, you're stupid because it's awesome. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Ben's cringing at me.
You're not stupid. You're not stupid. Everybody loves you. Everybody loves you. Um, hit the bell icon and subscribe. And I'm sorry for calling you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. No one's stupid. Bye, guys. I want to put it around my neck. I see people do it all the time. It'd be cool. Do you not? It would be cool, but... Do you want to do that? No, I don't want them pooping on me. <laughs> not even, right. You're not even looking. Look at the camera. <laughs> maybe I, maybe like, this one is not... It's kind of shy. There you go. Yeah, poop right down my shirt. It doesn't even look like it has to poop. Good. I'm ready. Let's do this before it poops. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Kai from Lucas Lane and Royals. Hope you're doing well. Today I have another exciting egg cutting video for you and I'm going to be doing it with a couple of surprise guests. Hey! Hey! Brian and Ben! I'm Ben! I remember your uptime! Put a hole in your wall. I know, you understand. We're good. Alright. Should we do it more? <laughs> we, do it. we can Man, be like smoother. Say? Yeah, it should probably be smoother. Really? The other people like it more. If you... Hey guys, I'm Kai from Lucas Land and Royals. Hope you're doing well. Today I have another exciting egg cutting video for you, and I'm gonna be doing it with a couple surprise guests. Hey! Surprise! I'm Ben! I'm Ryan. The RB Reptiles taking over. RB <laughs> <laughs> <R> Exotics. Me <laughs> <R> Exotics. <laughs> <laughs>